<laughs> Home improvement's gone wrong, terribly wrong, and good apartments are hard to come by, huh? <laughs> Get ready to laugh because today we're breaking down some of the funniest scenes from Friends. That's right. Hey folks, I'm Mark Max, the local real estate expert here in San Diego. Let's bring on the first clip. Hey. 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 <laughs> So what happened? Did a forest tick you off? No. You know how we're always saying we need a place for the mail. <laughs> yeah? Well, I started building one. But then I decided to take it to the next step. Chandler, funny son of a gun. You're probably looking down laughing right now. Cruises in, looks like he's got a dang wood shop. Good old Joey. <laughs> Gotta love that dude. They live in an apartment. You have to go through proper channels, architectural committee, you have to get approval. Normally you have to have a contractor's license if you got power tools in there. This started as a as a simple slot in the door to collect the mail. Normally it's a, you know, six, eight inch, boom, got the flapper. Usually they construct a little something, maybe a little mini box that catches the mail so it doesn't go on your floor. But uh, yeah, Joey's taking it next level. You're building a post office? <laughs> No, an entertainment unit with a mail cubby built right in. He went from a mail slot to an entertainment center with a mail slot. I don't mind organizing stuff, breaking down boxes. Ikea, the, those boxes scare me. You know, half the time there's always one drawer that doesn't fit properly or those extra like seven or eight screws where you're like, where does this go? <laughs> Normally you hire a uh, contractor, a woodworker, someone with handy skills. It's a one day job, Max. Okay. I've heard that before. I know there's been a couple times where we're attempting to clean out the junk closet, which, you know, has a bunch of random stuff. One day we decided to pull that out. It finished up about midnight. They always take a little longer. My word, those are snug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. These are my old work pants. Sergio Valente. <laughs> Maybe move on, grab yourself a pair of like old school sweats that you can work in. Do you have a specific construction outfit, something to paint stuff? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Power saw kind of got away from you. <laughs> Obviously Joey's, you know, he's thinking ahead. The cut was a little crooked, but it's the typical door where you lock the bottom open it up, get the fresh air in. Dogs can't go out, kids can't go out. So as long as Chandler understands that the next time he comes home, he'll be all right, he won't trip. <laughs> so apparently I'm available for lunch. <laughs> you gotta love it, the Central Perk. Actually, great coffee name. Where they live is just that fun little central gathering, kind of like the old school show, Cheers, where you go in and everybody knows your name. It's kind of nice because there's a lot of people where I work in La Jolla, the village area, tremendous accessibility to coffee, restaurants, you know, just fun little shops, just a neat little area where you can get to easily. I think that's kind of what's fun about this. Do you guys happen to have a local coffee shop or fun restaurant that you go to on a regular basis? Let me know where it is and what it's called in the comments below. And I'm busy, I'm apartment hunting. You're moving? Yeah, well, I can't live with Joey once the baby comes. I don't want my child's first words to be, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> So does, does Joey know you're moving? Well, I haven't discussed it with him yet, but I know he's going to be relieved. And you know what? And if you're looking for a place, I just heard in the elevator this morning that a woman in my building died. Oh, my God. Was she old? Does she have a view? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting tighter in each area, especially like, you know, there in New York. Here in San Diego, rentals go as quick as properties are selling right now. And it's one of those things that locally you can go to a property manager, apartments.com, those type of avenues. But normally kind of what was happening here, it's the word of mouth. Hey, by the way, we have this property or even like the old school sign up in front, driving by and you see the sign for rent. So got to keep your eyes and ears open everywhere for a rental. Well, I don't know, but how, how great would that be, huh? You living in my building? I could help take care of the baby. I could come over whenever I want, with your permission. Oh, that really would be great. Yeah. 
Well, can we see it? You know, it might be interesting because they're going to this elderly lady who they thought had passed based on maybe some rent control. I haven't seen how it works here in San Diego. You do have a certain amount you can raise the rent on a monthly basis, but a rent cap, rent control, let's say they moved in and it was $1,500 a month and now that building is renting for roughly 6,000 a month. If you were able to go in and get that underneath the rent control or the rent cap, you know, that would be, you'd keep it at the same rate. The average one bedroom in New York is roughly 4,800 per month. You know, kind of tough expecting a baby, one income. So that's kind of challenging. I don't know what that was back in the day with friends. That's why if you can buy a property, get in with the decent interest rate and, and just hold on to that baby. <laughs> what is rent for a one bedroom in your area? Let me know in the comments below. Be anxious to see. Yes. Hi, I'm Ross Geller. I live in the building. And I'm Rachel, an admirer of the building. <laughs> I, I heard about Mrs. Verhoeven passing away, and I'm so sorry for your loss. She didn't pass away. What? My mother's still alive. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she and I would talk all the time in, in the laundry room. <laughs> Speaking of laundry rooms, how horrible are they? I mean, you gotta get your stuff, you gotta go down the hallway, you gotta, oh, it's reserved, oh man, someone's using it. Move the stuff out, stack it on top. I remember one time here in PB, I actually asked, used to walk across the street next to 7-Eleven to do some coin op because we didn't have it. When I moved in and I saw that side-by-side -side laundry, I was like, man, I'm living good. <laughs> Let me know what other housing scenes from your favorite shows you'd like me to react to. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button and smack that like button to watch more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching.